Here's yet another example where we take an English statement and write it in symbols. Let P, Q, and R represent the following statements. P, I'm registered. Q, I'm a citizen. R, I vote. Express the English statement in symbolic form. Being a citizen is necessary for voting. Now, the necessary part becomes the part of the conditional that follows the if-then statement. So we are going to change this statement into the following. If you vote, then you are a citizen. We can then write it in symbolic format as if or then Q.